Hi guys. What's up? So we have finally landed in Puerto Rico and we're staying in an Airbnb in El Condado. Um, we already recorded the Airbnb, so we'll show that to you guys on like I guess once we post the vlog. Um, and now we are going to buy water and some munchies. Todo Puerto Rico! So we got water, some beer. The the beer here is on Medalla. So we got that and like just random little snacks and stuff so we can not spend so much money. And something that we're doing really, I guess we think it's kind of cool, is we're on a cash budget. So basically while we're here, the goal is to not use our cards at all. Together we have about, let's say 900 bucks. It's probably more than we're gonna need for five days. So that's all we're gonna do. We're keeping track of everything that we spent. Anyway, we spent $53 between our taxi and then the groceries we just picked up now. We're gonna go back to the apartment, like put our stuff down, change, and then we're gonna go to Old San Juan. Um, couple things we wanna do. We just wanna take advantage of the day. It's 2.41 right now. So while it feels super early, I'm sure the sun's gonna set soon. And there's people staring at us, so bye. We are here in Vieques waiting for our ferry that comes in an hour. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go over all of our expenses um, since we've been here. I think our challenge was to do this trip on a budget, but it's just a lot more expensive here than we realized. So the budget's out, but I, I just want to share with you how much we've spent so far. All right. So we have totaled up our expenses and we spent $780.75 since we've been here. Um, the bulk of money we spent was on food and um, some miscellaneous stuff. So souvenirs, when we went to the Bacardi factory, that tour was pricier than expected. So between the two of us and taxes, it was $133. And then we rented a car and that was $120, $120 and that included insurance. But in the numbers we gave are like Airbnbs, ferries that we've taken, food as mentioned, drinks, and then the miscellaneous stuff. I don't think we spent a lot, but I think if you were trying to like not spend much, you wouldn't do the Bacardi tour because it is a little on the pricier side. But we found that like food in general, at least in San Juan, is the equivalent of food in New York. I mean, the cost is very similar. So I, you know, this isn't somewhere you'd come if you're trying to be on a budget. I think you do like an all-inclusive resort or something like that. Also, um, if you're gonna take Ubers and stuff, um, be cautious because one of the first nights we were here, we were trying to take an Uber from Old San Juan back to the Airbnb. And it was telling us $40, bro. And then we walked like three blocks and then it dropped to like 18. Um, it was on a Sunday, I think it was, mm -hmm. but um, still, $40 was too much, so we walked a little, and then $18 made more sense. And we though, found out that that wasn't even good, because yeah. the next night, when we left from San Juan, it was $11. It was like $11, $8, mm -hmm. so if you ever get like a high price, try to walk a little, wait, wait it out, because it yeah. will get cheaper, and um, you save money like that if you're traveling through Uber and stuff like that. Yeah, and this is a really good time to be here. Um, I. You know we've been to the caribbean before and i think right now it's just the sun isn't super hot it's comfortable it's not crowded like you know we didn't really have to wait for anything which is why we were surprised by the cost of that first uber on sunday because it's not like a high traffic time if you if we would have come like next week i think or the week after it would have been crazy because everyone like comes down for the holidays but right now it's pretty good we love it we're trying to come back again next year so stay tuned for that look at that highlight though Thank you. 